Guys, here we go into another computer art tutorial, and what we're going to do with this photo today is, again, we're focusing on another principle of design. This time we're calling it movement. So we're creating a blur effect to kind of the background of an image where there's movement happening. And so um, I've chosen this image of LeBron James shooting a jump shot and gone ahead and blurred out the background to kind of accentuate the movement and actually kind of emphasize him a little bit more so than in the original image. So if I toggle back here to my image search, you can see this is the original image that I was working with and um, I'll go ahead and get this uh, started up again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the image. So search for any image that you'd like to use for this. Um, again, the subject should be moving or in motion and you wanna make sure that there's actually things in the background to do, apply this effect to. If there's really not much going on in the background, it's probably not going to be really obvious that you've done anything to the image. All right, so um, full HD we'll choose. We'll type in movement as our title for this project and then hit create. So once I'm in here, I'll click command V to paste this in. It was kind of like by just toggling back, zooming out just a little bit to get started here. Click and drag my image so that it fills my space and then I'm going to crop off the extra area that I can see that's transparent off the edges. So I'm just gonna pull these in just a tad and then hit apply. Okay, now I'm ready to work. And so there's definitely more than one way to do this. Um, we're gonna start with our lasso tool though. And I'm gonna use the magnetic lasso because it will work pretty well for just staying along the edge of him and not really jumping too far out. You could use your free lasso or polygon lasso, whatever one you're most comfortable with. The Bezier or Bezier uh, lasso is pretty interesting with the curves that it can do, um, but I think really magnetic is going to be the best for this um, image. And so I'm going to take uh, my image layer, make sure it's click, uh, clicked, and then when I click here, it will start to select, and any it'll try and stay along the edge of an object if I just keep this circle over the edge. And it's a little imperfect in some spots, but it shouldn't be too big a deal because of the blur effect we're adding to it. So hopefully it stays pretty close along the edge, which it seems like it's doing. And I'm not really holding anything. I'm just, I just clicked once at the beginning and now I'm just moving my, my mouse around. And then when I get back to the beginning, I do want to click one more time to solidify that selection. And so if you really want to, you could jump in here and kind of um, and edit this up just a little bit by using kind of like the add to selection or remove from selection. So if I want to remove like this little spot right here, I could take my free lasso and just kind of like lasso around it and see how that removed that little selection spot. Um, so that works pretty good. I could add this in here, but this is already kind of blurred anyways, so I'm not really gonna worry about it. But actually now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go to um, my selection menu and I need to invert the selection because um, right now, at first, I had everything inside of here selected and I don't wanna blur that. This is the part I wanna keep. The part I wanna be adding this blur filter to is everything outside. So you gotta invert that selection. And again, it's not quite perfect along some of the edges and spots. You know, if you want to go back in and, and fix yours up, um, you should, you know, but I'm going to go ahead uh, just for use of time here. Um, and what I want to do is make sure I have my image layer selected here. Otherwise, I don't think it'll let me apply this filter. Yep, there we go. Um, and we want to go to filter, details, and what we're going to choose is there's a few different blurs. You have a regular blur a Gaussian blur and a zoom blur. And the zoom blur is really the one that we wanna go for here. So I'm gonna choose zoom blur. As you can see, it kind of starts um, sort of in the center. Um, you can you have this little box that pops up. You can pull it to the X or Y uh, coordinates. So that's kind of like imagining um, them. Right now it's just blurring to the center, uh, which is cool. I could turn the amount up if I really want the amount of blur to go like whoosh. And so that looks pretty good right there. I could, uh, I could call it, but what I kind of want to play with too is I was playing with the X and Y and so that I have the blur point kind of up a little higher so that it kind of comes from the basketball. And so um, the X axis would be the one that goes up and down. Actually, I might have that wrong. X axis goes across. So I don't really want to check, do the X axis. I think I want to make the Y axis go up. Um, and so 
Oh, no, nope, that actually looks like it's moving it down. So actually, I'll move this the opposite direction. There we go. And it actually does look like it kind of live previews as I'm doing it. Um, so that's cool. So I want that point to be coming from up at the ball. Um, maybe I move the X just a little bit so it moves it over just a tad. So that comes from the ball too. Um, and then, you know, I can play with the amount of blur being uh, lower or higher to kind of really accentuate the effect to the way that I want it to be. Um, you know, it looks like actually as I go really high here, some of that image becomes clearer, which is interesting. But I kind of want it to be really blurred so that it really just has point of emphasis on him um, and the, the blur lines going up to the basketball. And so when I'm done here, I click Command D to get rid of my selection area and this is pretty much all I was looking to accomplish with this uh, quick lesson. So hope you guys have fun adding some uh, blur effects to the background of an image of any choice of yours. Again, could be an image, a uh, personal photograph that you've taken of, uh, you know, a pet or, um, or a friend that's kind of like running, moving, doing some kind of action.